Life is stressful. From the upcoming test to the next bill to pay. Oh, and don't forget that random unexpected life event. It always happens. If only there was a book that could reduce my stress and completely change my life. Huh. What's this? Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. This is one of the best books to read and in this video I'm going to let you know how this can change your life. Firstly, you may be wondering who is Marcus Aurelius. He was a Roman emperor, which is basically the most powerful guy back in the day, and in this book he shares his knowledge about life. One of the most interesting things about this book is the fact that the most powerful guy back around 1,900 years ago experiences the same problems that you and I face on a day-to-day -day basis. Hey Marcus, what's up man? Oh, are you okay? Not really, man. I met this girl on Tinder and was supposed to go see the gladiator fight at five today, and she just stood me up. This book is his own self-help guide on how to approach life situations, but there's something very unique about the book. Marcus, look at us, we're on a first name basis already. He wasn't interested in making a lot of money from this book. In fact, it was never meant to be seen by others. It was only for himself. So what does the most powerful man of the time write to himself about? Stoicism. Stoicism is a school of philosophy about how to lead a good life. It focuses on four main virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. It teaches you that if something's within your control, then try not to worry about it because you can resolve it. And if something is outside of your control, then try not to worry about it because there's not much that you can do. Now, why can this book change your life? It teaches you about stoicism, about gratitude, about how to deal with silly people, about how to control your mind and how to lead a fulfilling life. There are parts of the book that's quite repetitive because Marcus, just like us, needed to constantly remind himself of the basics on how to lead a good life. It provides you with the basics and then you need to apply it to your own life to experience the benefit of the book to the fullest. So recently I've been in a bit of a rut and I've experienced a lot of stress by moving. Moving is generally regarded as one of the most stressful things that you can do and currently my life is in a little bit of a limbo because I haven't moved to the new property, I'm still stuck in a chain. So right now I'm living at my grandma's. This is my room. The wallpaper wasn't my first choice. They were my second though. This book helped me adjust to the move and also get out of the rut. So I'm gonna give you three lessons that I've learned from this book and there are loads more in the book. Let's go. You may leave this life at any moment. Have this possibility in your mind in all that you do or say or think. Life is short and this is something that you do need to remember constantly, whether it's asking that girl out or instead of sitting at home watching Netflix all day, maybe going out and trying something new because life is really, really short. Now for me, I could halt my entire life until the chain is complete and I can move into the new property, but that's not me living to the fullest. So instead I can go to the gym, I can visit my friends, I can spend more time with my family and I can focus on other areas of my life to really live life to the fullest. Otherwise, I am just wasting days. So, display those virtues which are wholly in your own power. Integrity, dignity, hard work, self-denial, contentment, frugality, kindness, independence, simplicity, discretion, magnanimity. Do you not see how many virtues you can already display without any excuse of lack or talent or aptitude? I never believe I'm good enough. When someone asks me a question, what is your best skill? My mind freezes. But this list of traits is stuff that can be applied instantly that I can use to ultimately become a better person and therefore a more skilled person. You can instantly choose to be kind. You can instantly choose to work hard. And so if you're like me and you never believe that you are good enough, there are certain things that you can do instantly that will make you feel like you are good enough. Because you are, you're beautiful. I mean, you're watching this video, which means you are pretty awesome. Do not imagine that if something is hard for you to achieve, it is therefore impossible for any man, but rather consider anything that is humanly possible and appropriate to lie within your own reach too. Do you want to make a million dollars? You probably do. I mean, I do. And sometimes I think to myself, ain't no way that's going to happen. But it can, because if you think about it, loads of people have made a million dollars before. So it is humanly possible. I just now need to believe myself that I can do it and hopefully I can. And that's the logic I took away from this point. If you want something and it is actually possible to do, then do it. If someone's done it in the past, most likely you'll be able to do it again. Now, I know you probably have the question, will reading this book make me happy? Kinda. It hasn't completely transformed my life in two months, but I feel like I look at life slightly differently. Do I need a Lamborghini? No. 
Do I need to wake up and work on the craft that I enjoy and I believe is my purpose? Yes. I've been more motivated to go to the gym to keep healthy and I've really appreciated the simpler things in life. One massive aspect of this book is how to deal with negativity. And I'm someone who didn't really deal with negativity in the best of way. Beforehand, if something negative happened, I would go to my bed, curl up and cry like a baby. I mean, I would go to the gym and lift heavy weights. Yeah, totally the second one. But from this book, I've learned that if life throws negativity at you and you can deal with it in a shorter time frame, then you'll be less upset and you'll be able to draw conclusions a lot quicker, which will give you more time to be content or happy. Also, the book helps you focus on your why. It makes you think about your passion and what you are here to do. What is your life purpose? If you know that and you, you have that purpose for life, then that will translate to increased satisfaction, which will also increase your happiness. The book itself won't make you happy, but it sets the groundwork in place that if you apply correctly, it can make you happier. I highly recommend this book, and if anything I said has resonated with you, then definitely give this a read. It's probably the only book that I'd recommend everyone should read once in their life. Also, what? Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to find the final page of Meditations, as it's supposed to contain one vital piece of information. You will need to travel to Rome to find the page. found it. I wonder what's in the last page. This, this is amazing. It, it changes everything. Oh lord, way to go. Agents on my phone. We be on the road like we on the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If only there was a book that could reduce my stress and completely change my life. I should totally win an Oscar for that. Keep my wife's name out of your mouth.